back and we'll get warmed up first. Have a quick drink of my special drink. Get my chair gone. This is where I normally run out of the room because I forgot my towel, but I didn't. I made like a German and laid it out at two o'clock this morning. So I'll put that there. Let's get warmed up first, shall we? Let's get our three breaths. Let's just do a bit of a del boy. Stand just left and right. Let the weight, body weight transfer left and right. Doesn't matter if your foot comes off the floor, stays on the floor. Just get that little tick-tock motion going. The one before you run away from the old Bill who will get you because you've got your big suitcase full of jewellery and you're selling it down on the loo tea side. I'm not saying who that is. Left and right. And slow it down nice and steadily, guys. Three nice Big, deep, slow breaths. Take the hands up and out. Hello, Sandra, I've got you in the room. Turn the hands up and breathe in. And exhale down to the heart. Just waking up the tissues, guys. Taking them back. It doesn't matter if you're just, you're just coming from a big, long run, walk, or whatever you've done, but turn the hands up and let's breathe in again. This is getting us into the zone, getting the little brain cell, in my case, working. The normal-sized brain cell in your work. And squish the hands out. Turn them up and breathe in again. And we exhale down, bring the thumbs down onto the sternum, stand nice capital P for posture, hold that there, curl the toes up, place them back down, lock the knees out, and take them just off lock. 30% abs and pelvic floor. Because we're doing strength, we're doing isometrics, and there's a lot of energy going to go in from our muscles into our bones. Drop those hands down to the sides and lean over any side you want to, left or right, till you feel a stretch in the waistline here, and then don't go any further. Getting our spinal mobilization in, always doing two exercises before anything. Bring that back up and lean over the other way. Put a section of waistline, don't go any further. And for those you've been doing this for ages, don't be tempted to say he's not looking. I'm going to push it over even further. Now bring it back up. Take the hands up and out, palms facing me. Put a pair of concrete boots on and take that left and right so you're not transferring that weight to your instep or your outstep. Your feet. I stay nicely flat on the floor like somebody's nailed them down or you've stood in a puddle full of super glue. Just left and right, nice and slowly. You haven't got the same speed as me. If I've done six and you've done three of these, it doesn't matter. Now take those concrete boots off and let the feet go over to the insteps and the outsteps and just give it a little push a bit further around. One more either side. Here we go. One that side and one this side. Then back to me, turn the hands up, breathe in. And exhale down to the heart. That's the last one of those bit that we've done a bit gentle. Gonna arc the hands back down to the side, hold the thumb, lock that out, and rotate those shoulders to the front. And then the rear, that's just to give me my tingly feeling down the spine. Give the hands a shake out. Mexican wave of the fingers, been working a lot of grip today, and rub the back of the wrist, get the good habits done and out the way. Then we're gonna look down at our feet, Look at your right toe and place the heel where the toe was. One little step forward. Pull the toe towards the shin, hands to the hips, big deep breath in. And exhale and bend it over nice and slow. And we'll go into our 15s. So 10 out of 10 is, oh, that's uncomfortable. 15 is, that's uncomfortable, but it's not painful. So keep it in the 15, big deep breath in. Exhale and increase. That's the imaginary knife going through the butter. We're all picturing that at the same time and we're still taking it down. The chest still moving down two and a one and I slowly bring that back up in the leg in. And just to give it a little bit of a, a break and give it a shake out, get the ankles a bit loose on the end of the legs, other foot coming forwards, transferring it over, one little step on the heel, toe towards the shin. It's a big deep breath in. And exhale, over we go. Stick the butt out through your hands on the hips, keeps them acting like a hinge. We're not going to be looking at each other, whites of the eyes. Well, and now you're going to go a lot further on the second one because your muscle memory's kicked in. Big deep breath in. Exhale and take it over again. We've got a little bit more of an increase. Let's go into the lower back as well, working with the spine two and a one, and then slowly bringing that back up and giving it a nice shake out. Stand on one leg, transfer the body weight over, and just rotate those ankles around, guys, anyone you want to. You can go left and right on this one. You can hold on to something if you have to. Rotate it back around the other way now. Get in turn, so, so fascia around the bottom of the leg, we want to make sure that's nice and loose, but good return circulation coming back. Swap it over on the foot. 
No prizes if some people are doing both feet at the same time. It's not big, it's not clever, it's just showing off. Take it back around the other way. Two, and a one. Keep your hands on the hips, and let's just start bringing those knees up now. So you bring up to where you want to, where you feel comfortable bringing up initially, start this movement going on. We're getting nice stretching the, the thighs at the same time, and your quads. Bring the hands to here. Now get the leaning back feeling and drive those knees up just a little bit more. A little bit more. That leaning back feeling means you're standing correctly, you've got a good posture. Good. Hands back to the hips and take the knees up and out. Getting a big ball socket joint, nicely warmed up. All the origins and insertions in our body, we're working hard with isometrics. Now we're going to do the awkward one and take the leg out to in, but go for a bit of height. And don't let the worry about the body twigging around left and right a little bit, a few angles and dangles is okay. Last one that side, last one this side. One leg at a time, because again, if you do two legs at the same time, it's not big, it's not clever, and I'll ban you from all future classes for showing off. But raise that leg up. What's gonna hold that one back and, and give us our measure is the hamstring. Two left, one, and two, I'm gonna switch over to the other foot. So off we go there. Good, nice up and down. Fantastic, I've got my eyes closed on this one, because bath night is on a Sunday, and the Monday's the best one for this one. So if anybody's got a bit of feet and they're doing, I'm not gonna say anything, I'll keep it, my eyes closed. Last two, there's one. And there's two, and give it all a nice big shake out, guys. We want to finish off with the shoulder joint, Nick. That's all good. So we're going to do this in one movement, all right? Bring the pointy finger out to me, hand up to here, and sweep it underneath and grab hold of that shoulder, right? Big inhalation. Exhale and move that around. And look at your pointy fingernail. Take it around, in steps to out steps on the feet, or put your skis on and get to the blades. Get to your maximum and hold. Big deep breath in, exhale, increase, take it a bit more, working it a little bit more now, two and a one, and unwind, bring it back, and we're going to circle that arm around, now I'm starting to get a bit of a sweat on already, so you ladies should be glowing, and the men on press and play ladies should be sweating a little bit like myself, I'm going to point that finger out to here guys, changing it over, sweeping the hand way underneath, good, big breath in, Exhale, watching that fingernail and squishing it around. Get to your insteps and outsteps, let that go. Get to your maximum, remember number 15. Big, big, big breath in. Exhale, increase it, so pull that shoulder around at the same time. Work it, work it for two and one. Unwind, bring it back. Point your finger out and nice big circles one way. And I think I have two there, two and a half, one and two. And finally, the big Chinook ones, bring those in both arms, but point outwards and draw the biggest circles that you can, and then take it back around the other way. We're getting our pecs and our chest and our accessory muscles are breathing, all warmed up. That's looking good. One breath, then we're going to pick up the towel, but we're going to start doing some isometrics as part of our warm up as well. So hands up and out. Reach out for the walls now. Long arms, try and touch the walls the other side. Rotate the hands up, palms facing the ceiling. Hand span. So open up that hand now, little finger from the thumb, and keep rotating to the rear. Big deep breath in and long arms. Exhale down to the heart. As we come down, we're going to bring the elbows high or parallel. Three second isometric push in, go. One and two and three. We're going to hook those hands over for the chest pull. 80 to 100% of your strength, remember, ready? Go. One and two. And a three, let's get the chest and the ribs working, fingertips into the side of the legs, the here, into your T bands, three second push in, nice capital lever posture, go, one, and two, and three, relax, bring the hands to the front, palms together, long arms, and we're gonna push in again, ready, go, one, and two, and three, relax it down for a second, give the hands a shake, and you're not going to lot of, a lot of power into this one, but we're bringing it into below in the rib cage. Hands up and out. Turn the palms up. Bring them together above the head. Fingertips again. Push in. Go. One and two and three. And then we bring it down to the heart, guys, because it feels like a nice position. You feel fantastic and look good. And we look like we know what we're doing in this position. Then arc the hands down. Give them a shake out. And we're going to pick up the towel. 
So I did tell, we're going to start with our legs as you always, not always, but 99% of the time start when you're doing big, strong, powerful exercises. I always start with our isometrics, getting the ribs going. I'm going to be spinning that round a bit. Good. Okay, so I'm going to stand with both of my feet in the middle of the towel, in steps together. There. This is something called a squat. It's a, bit, it's a deadlift, all right? Now, posture. Whites of the eyes, really important, okay? Checking each other out. Going to wrap my, the hat towel around my hands. But I want to be in position. There. I turn sideways, look. I shuffle around. Well, that's clever, isn't it? I'm there, look. Sticking that butt out. There. That's the position. I'm going to squeeze really tight at the same time. Get back around to you. There's going to be 20 seconds, a big one, guys, but we don't hold our breath, remember. Clock is on. We're ready in four, three, two, one, go. So I'm trying to stand up. There. You get some movement initially. That's fine. And don't worry, really think, have I got the angle a bit wrong? You can just attack on the next one. You're still working with the same muscles. Now, that's going base of the skull, down the spine. You can feel it right through the pelvic floor. The north's neck of your femurs, if you like, the, the, the biggest bones in the body go into the hips. Your knee joints, your ankle joints, the full skeletal system. Now squeeze that towel as tight as you can now. Squeeze. That engages even more. You'll feel your abs working. Two and one. Relax that down. Stand up and give it a nice shake out. Right? And a lot of people with a deadlift, so you start talking deadlifts, they say, oh, dangerous, dangerous, because people are lifting weights. It's not dangerous. It's just any exercise doing correctly, you can hurt yourself. And deadlifting and lifting anything is the biggest exercise people do wrong. So when we stand up, you'll feel the heart rate come up and the respiration rate come up because the heart's going to kick in and get the recovery going. Okay. Remember, anytime you want to, big deep breath in, blow up as hard as you can. Back to the same position. We're not going to change the foot position. In steps all together. You can bring them out a little bit if you've got enough room on your towel. In fact, I brought mine out about, about six inches, maybe. Hands into position. I'm there. Whites of the eyes looking at you. Okay, ready. Clock is on. Four, three, two, one, go. And I'm pulling there. Good. You do monster face. You can do. It's okay. I'm not going to take any pictures. Good. Now squeeze that towel as tight as you can. When you squeeze that, who's working the bones in their fingers on an exercise this evening? Not many people, but we are. And that engages through the core. It puts muscle memory in. And we, we know we get our glutes engaged now and our hands. It's X to X all across the plane in the body. Your deep core is nice and stable. Now we're doing 100%. Don't know. Let's try and pull a bit more. If you get no movement, you're doing 100%. Ready? Two and a one. We relax down to there. So as I stand, left ventricle goes a bit quicker, the heart, or left ventricle expands, the heart picks it up, nice big, so good lateral thoracic breathing, the chest coming up guys, in control all the way through, and staying calm, all right, people who do a lot of strength exercises, are very, very calm, people think they tend to be angry and running around all over the place, but they're not, and being aggressive, right, good, so in the third one, you're going to feel the muscles doing stuff it didn't do in the first one, because the attachments are going to start getting a bit tight, 80 to 100% of your strength, remember, we're ready, in steps, we've got my feet, about the same this time, we're about not a bit more, I'm, I'm in fact, I am now hip width apart, but if your towel, can you tell you're together, that's fine, wrap it around the body, I've got the, the hands, sorry, there, nice tight grip, White to the eyes, looking at each other, stick the butt out, ears, shoulders, hips all aligned. Clock is on, two, one, go. There, and pulling. This time I can feel my thighs, they're working hard. The muscles down the side of the rib cage, your latissimus dorsi, your lats, your breathing muscles, really important work in those ribs when we're doing big workouts. That's working, so the rib cage is expanding, and it's more into the base of the skull. You're rotating across from your shoulders. I'm just making sure now, I'm trying to keep pulling harder and harder. That keeps me at my 100%. Because if I don't, I'll relax off a little bit. We all will. It's a natural human response. Clock's on. Counter's coming down. Three, two, one. Relax, guys. Bring that down. Good. Going to put the towel down for a second. And just chill it out. Relax everything down. Shake it out. Nice big deep breath coming up. Here we go. Del boy stands left and right. Hands up and out. Turn up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart. 
Good. Now in this position, big deep breath in, hold for three. When I say go, blow out as hard as you can. I want to see my ears flapping in the breeze, okay? Or feel it flapping in the breeze. Ready, breathe in, go. Blow out now. And give it a shake out. Okay, into the next one, guys. Want to work the hips, the lower hip. It's a bit of a request, but she didn't know she requested it. Strength is going to work your hip flexors. I want to get my towel rolled up into a, a nice, into a ball. But don't just do it like a bag of rags because it'll all come undone. So I fold it and fold it, and I'm going to roll it down a bit like a bolster, if you like. There we go. There, comfy. Right, so feet, hip width apart, railway tracks. Get those feet nice and straight either side. Take the towel, place it between the knees, then bring your feet in. Now, what we don't want is your feet this width and the knees coming into there, all right? We want to have it nice straight down. So the towel width, I've adjusted my stance. So as I do that look, that's where my feet are, either side of the towel as well. I'm assuming that position there, like I'm horse riding. So I'm in, I'm going to squeeze that towel, all right? 20 seconds and three times again. So clock is on. Ready? Go. Bring them in there. Now you're going to feel it on the abductors. That is a deep pelvic floor exercise, guys. And you'll feel it radiating up through the abdominal area, up the spinal column. Again, it's the thighs, it's the hips. Our H shape we talk about with our body turn, H on its side, the spine, and the top and bottom there, like a T, a T with the legs, if you like. Keep squeezing that in, keep squeezing that in. And the second and third, you're going to feel the rib cage because the muscles are going to recruit. They're going to get their friends to help out. So we get more energy into the bones. Two and a one. Slowly stand up and shake it out. As we stand, you'll feel the adductors recovering. Remember the adductors, very, very lazy muscles. Don't want to do very much work, but we're making them work. Giving it a nice shake out. Good. This is also doing the muscle trains down the legs for the alignment of the legs and the stability of your joints at the same time. All right, here we go. Towel, it's back in again. Feet in that good position. If our feet are too far out, all that happen is you're going to put unwanted pressure on the lateral aspect of your knee joint, and we don't want that. So it's nice, see there, railway tracks. Got the position ready, stick the butt out. Go, squeeze it in, there. Now as I squeeze in there, I actually can feel my lats engaging. It's an automatic thing. I haven't squeezed my hands, but they're working. That's the muscle memory coming in. That's the core working nice and hard. There. The hamstrings are going tight, and I can actually feel my hip flexors. They're working nice and super hard as well. We're bringing those hip flexors in, and it's the origins and the insertions that are working. Keep it squeezing, keep it squeezing. Are we at 100%? Or will we maintain that 80? If you think, just try to squeeze a little bit harder. Two, one, relax and stand back up. And at this point, anybody watching us, <clears throat> doing isometrics, you don't know what isometrics is, they'll be thinking, what are they doing? What's that all about? How many calories are burning? Muscular strength and endurance, and it is, because you're going to start feeling it now, guys. All right, third and the last one. All right, here we go. When we first start doing this one, we did one for three, 10 seconds. Then we moved to three, uh, sorry, 220. Now we're on 320 seconds. In steps, just facing railway tracks. And we want to make the bet this one better than the last one. Ready? Go. The reason being is the brain knows it's the last one of these you're doing. And it'd be very tempting to go, I want a cup of tea and a slice of cake. We say, no, let's work harder. Bring it in, guys. Bring it in, bring it in. Squeeze nice and tight, nice and tight. Good. You can feel the work now. When we stand from this one, you're going to feel like we've been throwing some heavy weights around and lifting them and running around the walls and going crazy. Squeeze in again, squeeze in. You're going to feel the deep pelvic floor working nice and super hard. Hip flexors all around it, the joints two and one, and slowly stand back up. And let's give that a nice gentle shake out. Put the towel down for a second. Okay, ready. Let's just start bringing those knees up. Now, your legs should be feeling different to how they were before because they've been working super hard. A bit lighter, maybe, taking those up and a few up and out. We're great believers, remember, we work the area, give it some mobility, give it a bit of stretching. Two either side, out to in. There. Good. That feels nice and lubricate, doesn't it? The joint's thinking, oh, I'm feeling nice and it's Friday. There, good. Shake it all out. 
One big deep breath in, hands up and out, turn up and breathe in. Exhale down to the heart, pause and a hold. The next one we're gonna do one either side, then we're gonna start moving up through the body, okay? And it's an active beast. So that's why we're only doing one. Can you tell? I don't like the active beast exercise. Okay, I shouldn't say that, should I? Being a fitness instructor or fitness guy. So the active beast, guys. Without a towel, the active beast is, while well, you're getting ready, we come to that position there. And then when I say go, that back knee comes off the floor a little bit to there. That's the one without, and we hold that position. We're going to use a towel. So, spinning around. Here we go. There. It's going to be the front foot, and I'm dropping down to one knee. Now, make sure that front foot, the knee is not in front of the toe. I'm wrapping this around, holding the towel to here. I'm just trying to pull that towel and stand at the same time. Okay, so I'm working the upper body. Then we're going to switch it over. So this trick, watch what happens. So we're ready. I'm pulling the towel up and at the same time back and he's coming off the floor. 15 seconds. Ready? Clock's on. Go and hold. Now you're pulling, you're getting the upper body going and you're keeping the lower one working as well. We have a combo active beast. Hold it there. It's working hard. Watch your balance. A two and one and lower back down again. Good. Now, same foot stays to the front, but what you do is put your back knee on the towel, holding the towel, and other foot to the front. Good, I'm trying to make it. Yeah, you're all following, looking good. I stop for a second then, so this is too complicated, but no, it's okay, isn't it? So again, now I'm pulling there, but I'm gonna keep the back knee on the floor. So when I say go, pull with the hands, but keep that knee there and just think about pushing that knee down through the floor and you get the thigh activated. So we're ready. Looking up, not looking down at the floor. Go, pulling up and I'm pushing down at the same time. There. So what we're doing, we're joining the dots from the hips up through the body. Good, that's got the grip going as well. Keep working it, keep working it. Two and one and relax it back down. Let's stand up and shake it all out. So we're combining there all the small muscles working with the big muscles, and you can probably feel the body heat increasing after that one. I'm going to sort myself out. Other foot to the front. I face you in this one. You know what's happening now, don't you? So other foot on that towel, down to the active beast. I should have said before, shouldn't I? Help keep the balance. If you need to, bring the back foot out a little bit to the side eye, right, okay? All right. So I've got my towel grip there. So I'm going to be pulling. Now feel the power you put in here to when we change it over, probably about twice the amount. Ready, there, back knee off the floor. Now, and keep pulling that towel upwards, guys. Now I'm looking down about 45 degrees, so I'm keeping focused. And keep pulling that towel upwards. I know it feels difficult, but you've got to be a bit of a machine on this one. A double voice monster. Count down three, and two, and a one, and lower down. Slowly stand back up, give it a good shake out. First time we've done this one. I was working on this. I probably am so tired, Annabelle. I'm trying, trying to perfect this one this afternoon. Okay, here we go. Same foot's coming to the front, but the knee's going, the back knee's going onto the towel. The reason I like this one is you feel every single, from the tip of your finger, tip of your toe, all the muscles are working and all the origin of surgery. It's one of the biggest strength exercises and isometrics I can think of doing with you. Okay, so I'm there. Get my towel balanced off. That's better. Okay, I'm going to start pulling that towel now. And just think about pushing that knee down into the towel as well. So we've got the hands pulling upwards. The knee's pushing down into the floor. It's comfortable because it's on the towel. There. Feel that. Feel the ribs working. Right up the spinal column, getting nice and super, super strong. Pull harder, pull harder, push down with that knee more, two and one, and then slowly stand back up, guys. Put the towel down. Legs are completely done, but we're joining the dots and starting to work up through the body. Give everything a shake out. Give it a shake out. Big LBTs. Feel that breath. I'm going to hold for three seconds, then blow out really hard. Follow me with the hands. Take the hands up and out, palms facing me. Inhale to the rear, go. When I shout, go again. Hand clap to the front, blow it hard. 
Go. Good. One more of those. Breathe in, curve backwards. Go. And shake it all out, guys. Doing atomic group with the shoulders, rotating those around. Okay, you know what? Let's take it to the extremity, shall we? Get your towel so it's a nice, comfortable grip, all right? Or pick somebody's neck you'd like to give a really good squeeze to. Shouldn't say that, all right? All right, just to there, somebody who annoys you. There, all right. Hands. That's my position there. All we're going to do is squeeze the towel 100%, all right? Ready. So my arms are that position. Elbows a little bit bent, not totally locked out. This is 10 seconds and only two of these. Ready? Go. Squeeze. There. Don't worry about the fingertips going white. You're not cutting off blood supply. We're only doing this for the same amount of length of time that a medical person will test the capillary refill. And relax. Good. Now, on the next one, when we squeeze the hands, I want you to squeeze the glutes nice and tight as well and feel the core activating all the way through. And this is a good habit to do, getting good muscle memory in. Okay, so comfortable with the feet. A bit like a jockey again, knees off lock, hands are to here. We're ready? Go. Squeeze that, squeeze the glutes, the bone of the butt, as tight as we can. And squeeze the hands tighter. And you're going to feel the abs getting sucked in. Good postural muscle exercise as well, guys. Remember the engine's going to where the muscle start. And finish two, one, and relax. And I actually start to feel there different twitches, top of the calves working, top of the hamstrings working as well, right where the joint area is. Give us a nice quick shake out. All right. Robin Hood has walked in. Da -da 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 -da. So, twisting that around. Hold it that way. That's the long arm. This is my bow. The hand, first movement, is level with the shoulder there. See? And see the hands there in that straight line? None of this, none of that. There. Fantastic. That looks good. But you can. Now, if I hold that there, grip, what's my grip? If I do that, but keep the elbow there. I get a nice tight grip on there. That's a bit more natural. And it keeps your wrist in neutral. Really important as well. So I'm there. This is 10 seconds, guys. We're ready. And go. This is where we see who's bought the cheap towels off the market when they're tearing half, isn't it? <laughs> or I knew I should have bought a new towel. I've only had that one 35 years. Keep pulling, guys. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Two and one. And relax that back down. I'm going to change it all to the I'm keeping the hands where they are. And I'm that side there. Again, I know what I do. The thing I do, I stand like a boxer. This foot's facing you. That foot is stand like a boxer, okay? Nice and stable. The creaky nose is not my knees. It's the floorboards. It's summer. They creak more in the summer. We're ready? Go. There. Now, I'm looking down there because I'm, I want to look to you guys. I'm going to turn my head look at you. Am I 100%? Now, keep pulling. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. Two, one, and relax. About now, you're going to feel a heart rate coming up. You're in recovery mode, and you might get a few tremors going on. The fast twitch fibers are getting tired. Okay. No secrets ever from people who are instructing or guiding people through. Next one, we're going to do the same again. When you squeeze, squeeze the glutes as tight as you can and feel the power coming through the core. So, last one in the side, this Robin Hood's back in the room. Hand same position, We're going to keep the same position. Ready, clock is on, go. Now squeeze your glutes as well, and the hands. That's releasing the power of your core. That's a maximum, guys, it's a big exercise. They're just about all full body, no matter where we start, I'm frothing the mouth. This is a crazy mad circuit. Here we go, two and a one, relax it down, rotate the shoulders around. Good habits, keep that flow, keep them. Keep the concentration going. That's about 10 seconds. Bring the hands back up, other side. Last one of these and it goes to bed. Ready, two, one, go. And squeeze the glutes in case you forgot. Nice tight grip and try and tear that towel apart, guys. Keep it going nice and tight. Squeeze the glutes. Got some tremors going on, some shakes, two and a one. And relax that back down. Good. And shake it out. Good. Fantastic. Right. One hand time, just get the hand going. Get that grip going, wiggle the fingers, Mexican wave, and you the side, wiggle the fingers, and nice Mexican wave. Okay, next hand position. 
we're going to have about a fist width between the towel and I'm bringing it into the chest. Just gently, not, not going to crush the chest, just holding it against the chest. That's the hand position. We're going to be pulling it apart now, all right? So getting the feet again, Ginny's just off lock. Remember the little glute thing, squeeze the glutes at the same time. 10 seconds, two of these ready. Go and not hold, don't think, oh, it's only 10 seconds. I can hold my breath for 10 seconds. I should do it at school in the 50 meters freestyle. No, you don't. Keep breathing, guys. Keep pulling hard as you can. Two and a one. And relax that back down and shake it out. You can feel about now, if I was a betting man, 33 minutes we've been working out. Weight training, if we were all together in the gym, I would take us to about 50, 55 minutes to say we're getting the same effect as here. Ready, hands same position on this one. Against the chest gently, 10 seconds, go. And pull apart, guys, there. Everything, so you can feel the backward down the side of the chest. The rib cage is being pulled up because the energy is going into the bones. Good. Bone density is loving this one. Two and a one. Relax it down the heart and the cardiovascular system. Release, give the hands a shake out. Keep them all going, nice, big, tight grip. Now, some people might think the next one, oh, it's working the same muscles. It isn't, you're gonna feel the difference, all right? I'm bringing the grip this time. So when I bring my hands down, my thumbs actually touch the bones of my hips just here. Right, so I'm there and that's the distance we got. Good. Keeping it down here, but you're going to try and pull the towel apart in this position. You will not put as much power into it. It's a good way to develop that strength. Okay, ready? And it's going to work down the postural spinal column into about the bottom third. Okay. Good cap of people position. Ready? Clock's on, go. Pull apart now. Now, can you feel that dairy cheese wedge shape taking place? The abs are getting sucked in full 360. Your grip, your forearms are working super. They're taking over from the shoulders, two and a one, and relaxing back down. So you're going to get a lot of energy going into your elbows. The shoulders have been getting rest, and the chest being getting a bit of rest, the way we're holding the hands and trying to pull that tail apart. One more of those in this position. And we've got one more long arm I want to do after this one. So there, good grip. Chest up, bows of a ship coming out the ocean, good capital P for posture, ready? Go and pull apart now. There. Good. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? That feels powerful. It's a nice, comfortable position to try and get the power into it. Keep accelerating, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Two and a one. And relax it back down and give it a nice shake out. So if you're into isometry, you think, I like this towel metric. Tug, send it to me again. I want to. Yeah, I will. But you only do this one once every three days maximum. OK, because you want recovery of the joints where tendons and ligaments are. One more time with the arms long. The hand grip is going to be, I want to take it out to the sides. That's my arms straight to you. I'm going to take them at this very slight angle. So if I brought it back, the inside of my wrists would be to the outside of the shoulders, if that makes sense. I'm very slight angle taking it out and I'm keeping the arms long look, like we're water skiing. We're going to come down that water skis position to there. Ready, pull apart, go, and squeeze the glutes at the same time, and pull that apart. Again, we're back to the rib cage and the breathing, we're joining the dots together. Can you feel your hamstrings working and the quads, the knees even down to the ankles? Two, and a one, relax, bring that back in, and circle around those shoulders. Either way, guys, keep your children relaxed, shake the feet out, get your good habits going. If you need to, big deep breath in, Right, nice and hard, okay? Good. If anyone's working super hard and you want to go and vomit in the corner of the room, that's all okay as well. Okay, it's not my room. So, ready. It's there, guys. Last one of these and one more exercise after this one. Ready? Go. Pull apart there. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze nice and tight with that towel and keep it going. Whites of the eyes. Can we get a bit more on this one? Pull, 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 pull. Don't you wish you had elastic towel now so you had some effect going on? Two and one. And relax that back down and give it a shake out. I always know when I'm doing a lot of heavy weights and stuff like that, because my voice starts and it's going now, all right? I know how much energy we're all putting into this. Well, last exercise, posture on this one. No leaning over. Keep nice straight lines, guys. Drop one end of your towel to the floor. Nice tight grip. So the action is going to be in a bicep curl. Imagine you bolt to the elbow. 
That is a movement we're trying to do there. We're going to do this one, stand on the towel, and the arm's going to start there. Nice 90 degrees at the elbow. Nice tight grip. Look up 45 degrees. Capital P positive. No leaning over. Keep nice and straight. I'll turn towards you. Hand on the hip to here. I know I look like hand on the hip, but I don't care. We ready? Go there. And pull that upwards. Good. Can you feel that? Right from here, base of skull, down the side of the body predominantly, and into the hip area. And the top of the tailbone as well. Keep pulling that up. Keep pulling up. Keep pulling up. Two. And a one. And we're going to swap that over. So one side of the body. We don't do, two. I don't like doing two because it means we can keep it on. I'm going to two, then do a 10 second rest and recovery. Hand to there. Elbow, good position. Get myself sorted. Good. Here we go. And go. I'm pulling that up. There. I've got sweat dripping off my mind. If I'm on a big TV, guys, don't do it again. It's not a pretty sight. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Two. One, relax it down. Can you feel the tremors? But after this as well, the next hour, if you can get some protein in. Two more exercises. It's there. I'm standing on the edge of my towel. My hand, or the angle now is slightly, it's there, look. That's the angle there. If you, if you can't get there, do the same one before, right? And we've all different towels, but we're there. Nice and tight with the elbow into the side. Looking at 45 degrees, let's turn towards you, it's a better view. Fantastic. Ready? Go. There. I'm just trying to pull that up. Feel the calves working. Feel the core engaging. That's your muscle memory. Look at the abs getting sucked in, working hard. Nice and firm, guys. Good stuff. Two and one. And changing it over. Other foot. It's on the towel. Last exercise, then we're going to do a Nicola. All right. It's there. In position. Hand to hip. Ready? Go. When we finish this one, guys, you've done a full body, massive muscular strength and endurance exercise. You've worked it from the muscle tissues deep to the core of your skeletal system, cardiovascular at the same time, two and a one, relax it back down. And a Nicola is roll your towel up and you think, good, I finished, get rid of it. And then press the button. This is the most important part of any session. There and there, fantastic. Really enjoyed that one. We've got the Friday crunchy feeling or what? Bring the hands there. Most importantly, go away, stay safe. Have a fantastic night. One, two, three, go. Yes. Brilliant. And use on press and play later and tomorrow and Sunday. Pick anybody on screen. Work with them. Thanks for your time, guys. Catch you later. Good stuff. Thank you. Bye. Enjoy that one. There we go.